chief of defense staff, Anil Chauhan, chief of air staff, air chief marshal, AP Singh, our ex-chiefs who have graced the occasion today, Jal J.J. Singh, Jal V.K. Singh, Jal Naravni, Jal Manoj Pandey, Director General Claus, friends from the friendly foreign countries, esteemed guests, distinguished scholars, members from the media, ladies and gentlemen, including those connected through virtual means. A very good afternoon and jaihin to you all. At the outset, I extend a warm welcome to Honorable Raksha Mantri and also thank him for gracing us with his presence here today. It's indeed a unique opportunity for me to address this August gathering at this year's edition of the Chanakya Defense Dialogue. The theme, Drivers in Nation Building, Fueling Growth Through comp Comprehensive Security, stands relevant for all countries since nation building remains an enduring pursuit for all nation states. Now, as you go through the instrument of national power, you will always realize the M pillar is intertwined with other pillars very closely. However, somehow, we have always remained isolated with the M pillar. So the main aim of this seminar was to take us out from that and let us look the same pillar from the outside. How does it look like? How successful we have been? I think end of these two, two days we will get to know. Now the construct of nation building has been spoken of in different shades by practitioners of statecraft. <coughs> Chanakya in his Saptang theory defined the seven limbs of a state. Swami, that is the king. Amati, that is the minister. Janapada that is the people and the territory, Durga, the fort of fortifications, Kosh, that is the treasury, Dand, that is the army or the force, Mitra, the allies. So Janaki also highlighted the importance of interrelationship between these elements towards the existence, safety, welfare, growth and prosperity of the state. The contemporary paradigm of nation building has also largely converges of some similar defining parameters some of which have been spoken of earlier in the day today. Now, in the multiple lines of effort towards nation building, the linkages to the security remains a constant. We all have been witness to various manifestations that have brought up the relevance of this linkage. The post-apartheid inclusive development of South Africa, the post-genocide emergence of Rwanda, which today stands as a beacon of progress in Africa, the experiences of Iraq and Afghanistan, that highlight the implications of prolonged insecurity or the collective security mechanism to enhance development as fostered by the European Union or the downward spiral that our Western neighbor has enveloped herself in consequent to embracing terrorism and instrument of national policy. Remember, you are responsible for your own cho choices as well as the after effects. Examples of nations succumbing to economic debt traps and in turn Compromising on sovereignty also stands out as relevant pointers. While physical security from the hard power perspective may occupy prominence, but the relevance of other components is no less. The recent pandemic that was a health security challenge had a fallout on economy of the world. The impact of rising sea levels and environmental sustainability challenge on many island nations in coming years can be well appreciated. On science and technology security, a fine example can be picked up from Israel, a nation which since its inception chose to view its multifarious challenges as catalyst for innovation and today stands with the ownership of many core technologies. Many examples of energy security significance also stand out. Take Germany for example, its transition in a major way to renewable energy contributed profoundly to its economic growth, yet its part reliance on fossil fuels manifested a restraining factor consequent to the Russia-Ukraine war. Defense diplomacy too plays a key role. The mandate it encompasses of furthering a nation's interest across expanding strategic horizons brings along with it increasing responsibility, opportunities and expectations. <coughs> From building bridges of trust to fostering partnerships, this line of effort can include strategic payoffs for a country towards achieving its envisioned place in the Committee of Nations. So to conclude, I would like to quote Swami Vivekanand who said, every nation has a message to deliver, a mission to fulfill, a destiny to reach, unquote. So the import of these words from the perspective of nation building 
make whole of nation effort central to nation building wherein security figures as a pivotal catalyst for holistic development. I am sure that the distinguished speakers and panelists shall give a fine expose of the entire canvas of the comprehensive security in the context of nation building. I wish to thank all participants whose insights and observations shall enrich this edition of the Chanakya Defense Dialogue. Thank you. Jai Hind.